NASA missions like Kepler and also TESS, the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, have really revolutionized our understanding of exoplanet demographics. They've told us some basic but also really important planetary properties like planet sizes, how far away these planets are from their stars, how common planets of different types are. But we want to take the next step now and know more about these planets, not just as you know distant point sources, but as actual places comparable to the worlds of our solar system. So James Webb is going to help us to take that next step by actually characterizing the atmospheres of exoplanets. It's going to be able to measure the composition of these atmospheres. And we've already been able to do this a little bit for the largest, you know, Jupiter-sized puffy exoplanets with large atmospheres. But we haven't been able to do this for small planets about the size of Earth and with thin atmospheres. So we really need a powerful and capable mission like James Webb to be able to make those really sensitive measurements to tell us what Earth-sized exoplanets are truly like.